My name is Clayton Wellwood, and I'm the leader of the BC Libertarian Party. Now, one thing that's wrong with big government is that you get things that you never asked for, but are paid with by your tax dollars. So I'm here in the neighborhood that I grew up in, in North Vancouver, to give you an example of that. So this is Grand Boulevard, and um, as you can see behind me, there's a, a newly paved uh, asphalt path through the middle of this, uh, this boulevard. And there's, there's two parallel paths on either side, uh, both paved as well. Now, what it used to be is, like you can see just behind me here, it used to be one gravel path that, that went up the middle, which I'm gonna guess served the residents here pretty well. You know, people use it for, for jogging, dog walking, whatever. What the need for of using asphalt and three paths on all sides, I don't really know. It's a boulevard, so there's sidewalks on, on either side. This is the quiet half of the, the boulevard here where if you wanted to ride your bike there isn't much traffic and it's easy to do. So I don't know what uh, cost this whole project uh, came at but it's just strange because it just seems to be completely unnecessary and I'd like to speculate a little bit about what could be driving such a project. Well one thing that we've seen over the past uh, year especially but uh, even going back over the last few years is property values going up a lot. So municipalities who haven't uh, adjusted the mill rate or the property tax rate uh, downwards uh, have been getting more and more money, uh, presumably with, you know, a few more residents, but uh, with a lot more revenue compared to the increase in residents because of the, the skyrocketing home prices. And this is really true uh, around this neighborhood uh, where home prices have, have really jumped. So that, that could be driving a whole bunch more revenue. What does the city do with it? Well, they gotta find something to do with it, right? So here's an example of something that doesn't really serve much useful function over what was there previously, but you know it allows uh, the, the city departments to use up their budgets so that they can keep getting those funds allocated in future years. Uh, and you know you also need to keep the, the people who work for the city busy, right? It, it certainly wouldn't do to, uh, to lay people off or something like that. So, okay, the money gets, gets spent. So you can see how things like this really uh, drive the, the cost, drive the revenue. But wh what, about, what about setting tax rates in line with the services that the people have actually asked for and expect rather than uh, city planners having grand ideas and using our money to implement them.